Yes. How do you do? Delighted, my dear. You must be having the time of your life. All America at your feet. <laughs> at my father's feet. <laughs> it's the same. I don't want to leave America without having met an American. What do you do with a girl like this? I'm not a rich man. The best schools in Switzerland for her. Last month, she climbs out of a window and runs away. One night without talking about Stravinsky or Rossini, or you conducted in La Scala at the age of 14. And I'm already 22, and I haven't yet given my first performance for a man. Any man. Ah! <laughs> I know when a little child is unhappy. I know. And how I know when a father is unreasonable. Try to be a parent, not a policeman. I don't know what you know about parents, but I imagine you had a wide acquaintance amongst policemen. <coughs> I'll have to call one if you keep that up. A man. Yes, I found a man. He's seven years old. In America, that's old enough. Get some rest. We live in the morning for Chicago, where I will never let you out of my sight. Then I shall not go. Would you believe only two days in this country? Please, James, you will come with us to Chicago, Boston, San Francisco, and then we come back to Washington. Come, what can you do in this awful city by yourself? It's so hot, a girl all alone, no money. Not a penny will I give you, not one, you will starve. Perhaps I will get a job. A job? Good job, good job. I've given you the finest education in all of Europe. You do not know how to do anything. Then perhaps, Father, I will run for the Congress. Dear, dear Carolyn, you are all knowing, all seeing, and shut up. Carolyn, uh, where's your husband? John's out, Father. When is he ever in? Both of my daughters made the wisest choices. Cynthia! Getting her for my children. Adopt me. With a little cleaning and scrubbing and some polishing here and there, it might be quite comfortable. Who, oh, I? Yes. Yes, it will take years. It's simple. 7.15 a.m., wake the children. 7.25 a.m., clean sink, pantry, and icebox. 7.45 a.m., prepare breakfast. 8 a.m., breakfast on... What's wrong about that? But, uh, it's no use. There's one thing you ought to know. What? One little thing. I do not cook. You don't like it? Well... She burned her hand twice. Oh? Uh -huh. Oh, it's wonderful. Roger. Roger. Now, what brought that on? What? You're kissing me goodbye. Don't I always? How foolish of me not to have noticed. Where's your father? Oh, he's doing the laundry for the weekend at the laundromat. We have to bring the clothes there because Chinsey doesn't know how to wash. Well, Harry told her that he was going to these night baseball games every night. Every night? An awful lot of baseball. Carry this portable radio with him so he could keep up with the games in case she asked him any questions when he got home. Oh, they're sneaky. Man. So Gertrude followed him. Naturally. He met this blonde at this motel. He took a room? You know anybody that goes to a motel to sit in the lobby? Is it important here? Not very. It's just that John and I are through. I filed suit. Is that right here? How did you think of that? Oh, no, Oops. This is the necklace my mother wore the night my father proposed to her. Proposed? Mm -hmm. I never had it on before. Uh, excuse me, I, I just remembered something. Whoa. My brother's very sick. Very, very sick. I was, uh, I was bringing him these flowers. That's what I came over to talk to you about. Really? Yeah, look, uh, my, my apologies. Forgive me. Shoot me, but... I'm not taking you to no dance. Oh. Angela. Now, what's the matter with you? I thought we had everything all arranged. You saw that dress. You heard what she said. She's sharpshooting tonight with her old lady's necklace. Oh, there's nothing wrong about that. She's a very nice girl, isn't she? Yeah. And that can louse up an evening faster than anything. Well, tell me, what have you got against nice girls? Look, Mr. Winters, I have a good business. I make a nice dollar. I own my own truck, you know? I know. If I want to have a good time, I go out and have it. A blonde one night, a brunette the next, a redhead. <clears throat> Smorgasbord, you know what I mean? Yeah. You like a guy who speaks plain like this? Uh, yes, I, uh, yes, I do. But uh, are you worried that her intentions are honorable? Yeah. It worries me sick. Because I, I, I can feel myself just slipping right into community property. Hey, why don't you go inside? You know, you're driving me nuts. 
It's a free country. Oh, like that of the sons of Italy, boy. Boom. He's married. And ever since he's been having sons of Italy all over the place. You know what I mean? Six kids, doctor boots, his wife getting fat and sloppy. Get rid of Sadie the Scrubber. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call a maid. <laughs> I got you a center stateroom on the Constitution, leaving New York day after tomorrow. Will not jump overboard? Oh, never again. I've had my adventure. I've learned many things, including how very difficult it is to be a father. It wasn't easy to cancel the rest of my tour and come back. Wasn't it? Is all right? I'm just perfect. Yes, we'll go to Coma together. A vacation. Mm -hmm. Then there's a concert at La Scala. What innovation we'll get. You will get. 